Hello there guys, welcome back. We're going to start working now on uh, how to paint weights on a character. We have done the joints, we have done the skinning, we have um, the geometry here, like I said in the last um, lecture, we have everything in slot here automatically, we have our input which is our um, skin uh, cluster. So now we're going to start painting the weight. Okay. So, But the first of all, I always like to put um, this tool, which is going to go into rigging, go into deform, and it's going to go to uh, uh, where are we? This is where's the skin? Where's the skin? And I'm just going to go here into paint skin weight. I'm going to control shift to there. Mirror, no mirror weight. I don't want to put mirror weight yet. I'm just going to have a give it drag on the side. No, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Right. So I'm just going to put this tool here, which is the uh, paint weights tool. So with the mesh selected, click it there. And I'm just going to go here into uh, the uh, tools uh, settings. I'm going to click it there. I like the number of the computer here, so I'm going to go there. So I know everything's working. Right, okay, so what do we have here? This is the system that allows you to paint all the weights inside here. Um, um, Maya. Now, uh, the first thing we need to do is um, I'm just going to show you here quickly what do I mean. My, um, I think in the last class I mentioned what do I mean by the hundred percent uh, influence in a in a in a, in a vertex. So if I right click here and say vertex, and I select a bunch of them, so I've got some of them here. So remember, these guys here, I can still move it, but they will all be taken care of by this joint. So if I, for example, if I select this here and then I just rotate this, so you can see that this is roughly what Maya has given me for by default. It has given me this. Um, sort of bound already. Um, so if I rotate there, and if I, for example, select this, this, and then I just rotate it, then I go everything the way it should be. Okay. So if I, I'm just gonna um, undo this. Okay. So I'm going back to the way it was here. Now, going back to the um, uh, vertex. So if I have all this vertex selected here, this bunch of vertex here. Uh, if I go into Windows and I go into General Editors and I go here into the Component Editor, so if I open this up, just let me show you something here. Uh, smooth skins. You go into the tab that it says Smooth Skins. You can see all these uh, joints here. You can see all the vertex. This is vertex 2223, 323, blah blah blah. All these here, they've got a number, so I each one of these vertex. And you can see here, for example, that we got one, two, three, four four, five here, five uh, joints, the spine, chest, neck, they all have a percentage here, this is a percentage, one, they all total to one, which is 100%, which means, for example, that this vertex here, it has 47% influence by the left clavicle, 0.04% on the, uh, or 4% on the left scapula, 40% on the uh, left shoulder, nothing on the neck, maybe it's so small that you cannot even say, it must be like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, here they all add up to 100%. So, for example, if I don't want the neck to influence any of these, I can select all this guy here and then type zero, and then the neck will be out of this um, influence here. So, this is what I mean by 100%. So, they all should add by 100%. So, that's that. So, now having that out of the way, so now I'm just going to select the geometry again. I'm just going to go here into the uh, skin weight tool. So, the first thing that I like to do. You can work here in black and white. That means that, for example, at the moment I have, I think it's the clavicle. Yeah, the left clavicle is selected. You can see the one that is selected because it goes from here over to a different color in the component mode. mode. And that means that that's the one selected. If I select another one, say the spine, you see that's the one that is selected. So that will be the spine. See the hips where it's selected and all that. And this here, this color representation, you can see here, it shows that this joint is influencing all this. We mean the things in white are 100 percent and then it starts fading out fading out until there is no percent okay so 
and that's that's how it is. I mean, when you see this one, this is only a visual representation of what a hundred percent is. But I normally like to take this one here, which is use color ramp. For some reason, I like that. I prefer to see that something when it's a hundred a hundred percent is red or white, and then when it's blue, um, is pretty much really low, like zero point zero percent or something like that, zero point zero zero one or something. So. Normally the tools that you work is uh, you use uh, replace scale add smooth and then you start and you know you can see this widget here that appears that you can start painting. So if I want to paint, for example, this joint here and add more influence here, then I can just if I press B and click and hold, I can increase the size of the brush stamp, and I can literally start saying, okay, I'm gonna uh, replace or I can add a value of I don't know 25 or let's say point. 0.2, 20% to this here. So if I select, you see how it goes all the way to white until it reaches 100%. So I can keep painting, keep painting until I have the this joint here is all, you know, influencing that area here. Okay. So if I want to test this, so what I do, I press W, go here, and if I rotate this up here. Now we have an issue here. Look, if, if I move this up like that, you can see how it's influencing a little bit of this guy here. When it shouldn't, I mean, when I move the leg up like that, I shouldn't have any influence here. And the reason that happens is because obviously we are working with Maya presets, you know, and the Maya presets here, um, the first binding that you do always give you a very good starting point, but there's not 100% accurate because Maya doesn't understand what you're trying to do. It says, you remember what it says about proximity when you do the um, skin, bind skin, and it says uh, based on closest distance, the binding method, because this geometry is very close to this geometry with this joint, then I'm going to take a little bit of it. It's like taking this here and then drawing a circle around it. If the circle is big enough, then eventually you're going to start, you know, adding this bit here because these two are uh, very close. So, the same happened with the fingers. The fingers, most likely, you have a finger here, most likely you're going to start having influence on another one. Okay? So I think this is here, for example. Let's see this one. Where is this? It's like what the legs did, I think, because they were quite close. Let's see. I suppose because of the distance, the spatial relationship between here and here, plus the geometry. And it worked out that there must be some sort of influence on the other side. But you don't want that, so you can, you can get rid of that. But, now, the key to paint weight is... If you want, for example, if I have this leg here and I just move this up and I say that I have an influence on this area, I mean, your common sense will tell you straight away. I say, okay, I'm gonna go here, select attribute, or select the, uh, the paint weight tool, and I say, well, look, there's a little bit. You see, blue is less. You see, from red goes all the way to 100, all the way to blue, which is um, like s towards blue, which is 0%. But always is the blue that is a little bit. So this is a 0%. No percent, and this one is a little bit must be like 0 0.005. So, I mean, like I was saying, the normal common sense would tell you, okay, I'm gonna go and start um, painting or getting rid of this. I say, okay, I'm gonna oh, I'll go here. Something says replace. I'm gonna replace the other side here with zero percent, and I'm just gonna start painting. You see, uh, I can do that. I can start say, okay, there's zero percent here, and then as soon as you start painting this, you see how I think it should be going back. You see. Gonna delete this, get rid of that. But that is something you should shouldn't really do because what happened is that, um, Ma like I said, Maya always try. If you get rid of this percentage here, this point, for example, here, Maya needs to make sure that it's one hundred percent. And sometimes it gives you. You do this, you delete. You say, okay, it's working. But sometimes it's giving this or whatever you delete from here is giving it. Most likely it's going to give it to this guy, which is the, the, the right hip. But sometimes it's give it to the finger, sometimes it give it to the neck, the jaw. And the reason for that is because my aim is to make sure that every single vertex only reach 100%. So it might take 0.002% from the nose, from the jaw. It does a very good job 9 out of 10 times, but sometimes it just mess it up. So if you, keep, if you, if you replace you keep adding replace, then what happens is that you're going to start chasing your tail. Say, oh, but I already painted that out. So now the finger has it. Okay, I go into the finger and I delete it. And then you add it to the other finger. And then you add it to the spine. And then you add it to the neck. 
Joe and so forth, and then you start, you know, working in circles, and then you're not gonna be very productive with that. So if I started here deleting, like I said, it seems like it, okay, it seems, but you know, there's a point that it stops working, and that means that most likely, for example, this one here, uh, it has, for example, let's go here one, two, this, this one, one, two, three settings. So I go the knee. You see the knee is already taking some of the stuff here. So I have to go here and delete when I have the knee. I say I'm gonna delete this guy and so I'm gonna replace it with zero and start you see start going back there. So this is not a very good practice as I said, so just be careful with that. Um what I normally like to do at the beginning is I'm just gonna take if I wanna put this guy back to the original position where the way it was, I can probably undo like I did earlier. Yeah, undo the draw set. But there is a button here that you have in the skin called go to bind post, so I'm just going to press control shift, put it on my shelf here, I click there, you see it goes back to the original. This tool, because in it remembers what everything was before you put anything to it, any other rotation, so I can rotate the character however I want, if I hit this button then it will go back straight away to the original position, the position that it was, uh, the joints were when you bound everything, so if I do this, and I don't know, I do this, I can just go and say go to bind and pose and everything goes back to original and it does it up the way it, how it was originally um, so the next thing t uh, we're gonna do is uh, we are going to start um, um, checking on the um, let's just run a little quick test here just to see if everything is fine see this is this is fine yeah so let's go back again click here you you can choose any joint, any joint, take you to the, the point of um, the bind pose. Okay, so now we have that ready, so we need to start painting our weights. Now, <laughs> the first thing that I like to do is, um, um, if I, for example, reach this point here and I just say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this here, and then I have this issue with this going up. If I select the skin weight and I say, okay, this knee is having some influence here. Like I said, do not go and start saying I'm gonna replace and that's it, it's gonna work. It's not gonna work guys, don't do that because like I said, sometimes it's just not gonna make you very productive because you're gonna keep um, chasing your tail, just keep deleting, deleting. So what you do is, instead of deleting, you need to add, just listen to this very carefully, you need to add to the joint that is supposed to have the influence there. If you can see here that this guy is moving and the knee is taking, um, this here, this influence, when it shouldn't, what you do is you say, okay, the left knee is taking control of this. I don't want that, so I'm gonna go to the right knee. So let's go to the right knee, and then I'm gonna paint here more. So I say I'm gonna add a little bit at the time. Let's say 0.1 percent of, of point that 10 percent, and I say I'm gonna add to this. You see, as soon as you start painting, you see how it goes back. So the knee should have a hundred percent influence in this area because that's where the knee is going to be. You see, so it's making sure that it's deleting whatever other joint had influence and then bring it back to the joint that is supposed to have it. So if I go back here to the left knee, you see how everything got deleted here. You see, it's because instead of deleting it from this joint, I added to the joint that is supposed to be. In this case, the knee. So if I go back to, you see, this guy here is still. The, the red to the red knee here deleted it so this guy here I need to get rid of this still so I have to go back to the right hip and start painting it and then adding more so so the problem we have here as well is that it's going to both sides as well so what I normally do in order to just start fresh I'm just gonna go here and put it into the into um, the original pose what I do is I'm gonna go here. One thing that we can do, we're just going to go here into, um, let's say go here and show, go here and show, and say don't show joints. And I'm just going to go here into the front view, and again here don't show joints. And I'm just going to go here into front view, go into vertex, and I'm just going to select all this vertex here. And I'm just gonna go into Windows, General Editors, and then go here into Component Editor, and then 
check here that every this is the right hand side so everything that is left should be zero you see you got influence here from the left ear it's very small because it's very small it's, it's even represented as zero as zero point zero but must be like zero point zero 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 one or something like that so it goes it rounds up to the next three decimal points and it comes up to zero there so what I normally do is it's a good starting point you select this guy here then go into I think you go into skin and there's a little entry here it's called prune small weight you go in the option you tell it prune everything that is above 0 0.01 for example or 0 0.001 you say prune so now if I'm going back to this here you can see for example you might be able to see it there that for example the left knee doesn't have any influence on this side because it got deleted of those points those influence number like 0 0.001 so if I'm going back to the knee so what I normally do is it's gonna go back into I just start from the bottom up here so I say I'm gonna go here I'm gonna twist this guy up like this and I'm just gonna go into the tool and go here skin weight and I'm just gonna go into that left toe so let's go here the left fold sorry the left fold yeah so I can see that okay this is fine and I'm gonna start adding it's gonna add one percent and I say okay this guy should have influence for the whole for the whole thing here so you can put the toes like that and this is what it should do so you start getting zero here so that should be fine just remember there's not much you can do that so that should be fine if you wanna test the joint while you're here while that joint is selected you middle click here and then middle click and then you can just you know bend here and see how it behaves you see for example if I bend here it's having a bit too much influence on this side which means that I could say okay I'm gonna go and delete it middle click again you click there you see it's, it's a little bit there instead of going delete it like I said earlier instead of saying replace zero add it but add it to the guy that is supposed to have it which is this which is the ankle so I'm gonna go to the ankle and then I'm gonna add here just notice that because this guy here the ball is twisted already so it's having some sort of influence on this geometry when I start painting them let's hide the grid then when I start painting this here you can see how this geometry goes back to um, the original position and that's because I haven't I haven't bent or rotated this joint so I say click here you see it goes back so what I'm doing essentially here I'm deleting the influence from this joint because I'm adding it to this guy or this the ankle because that's the guy who's supposed to have it so you see I'm gonna go there and I say this guy should have a hundred percent influence over everything here and I say I think I painted it around the canvas so I'm gonna do it I draw some circle here so you don't have to worry about this once I um, do the other one then it should fix it so I'm just gonna go and paint this there this guy should have some sort of influence here and so now this guy oops I painted that it's wrong when I shouldn't and now I have a this guy there so that will go that and if I middle click in here and then rotate oops middle click middle click and rotate you can see how this guy is bending so he's doing a pretty good job there so it's too harsh here so I middle click here Right, you see this guy here is influencing some of the bit here. So what I have to do is instead of deleting it, then I'm gonna add it to the knee. So I go up, left knee. I say, okay, this guy should have a little bit more influence here. Let's go and just make sure this guy is a hundred percent there. So I make sure I paint it all the way to white. So all the way to the knee here. If I wanna make the brush smaller, I just click here. I'm just adding 0 0.1 or 10 percent at a time. So because I'm I'm in add, it keeps adding 10 percent, 10 percent, 10 percent until it reaches 100. If I put replace, it will replace this by 10 percent. That's it. Which essentially does some deleting. So I always try to stay away from that. So if I just paint here. Now, if you want to smooth. Smooth, oops. A smooth works 
but sometimes it doesn't work it's a bit tricky to use but I think if you press control while you're doing this for example if you go here and uh, you, um, whatever tool you have here like ah, then you press I think you press control yeah you start smoothing things out you no you're actually no you're actually replacing so I think you press shift I think it is yeah shift that's the one if you press shift then I'm just gonna do what I just did by the way because I think it was too much no I think you press shift then you start smoothing things out you see it works shift so it gives you a little bit shift now so you can you know you see once you start moving this start going a little bit lower because it's merging together the values or the vertex in the surrounding area you press shift again so it's sort of getting a little bit smooth now so there we are i think if i'm going back to the anchor i might have to add a little bit oops i think i did that wrong just be careful when you have overlapping geometry there because you end up in something a little bit that i should be fine and then i press shift and then in smooth and that yeah at the same time smoothing with the other joint that i have there so i'm just gonna keep it like that just remember that obviously this is a very stream pose, so most likely the character is not going to go that that stream in terms of rotation. So if I press W, going back here, I can click here on any joint and then go into the bind pose. So now I have, um, let's test a little bit. I go this, that's not bad. Obviously, I'm going to do it here too because I bet you can spin as much stuff as you want. So you got that, that's not too bad. Now, if I do the knee, let's do the knee here. Well, look what happened when this side here, it means that this guy's painting some stuff when it shouldn't so we can sort that out in a minute now I'm happy with the knee so far so I'm just gonna go here again select any joint go to bind pose now if I click the geometry and because my model is a hundred percent you know symmetrical then I can mirror the weight essentially so there's a little tool here you go here you go to skin you say mirror skin weight you go into the option and uh, I normally do is obviously you have to choose the mirror across similar to what we did when we did mirror joints choose the Y and the Z axis and I'm going to mirror it tells you straight away here you're going to mirror from the positive X which is the one we're painting to the negative X so it tells you here so it changes depending on the plane that you select so here is the one so it's a good guideline so you don't make a mistake closest point on surface fine uh, normally I I think it's closest well I think it's this is fine what I normally do is I make sure these two guys are set up to closest join. So the closest join is the one that is going to be mirroring. So this guy here mirrored to this guy because it's the closest join to that side. And doesn't take care about that's the left and this is the right. It just says that whatever is close, not with the label, but whatever is close to it, then it's the one that's going to be mirrored to. So we say that we say mirror. And I'm just going to go here into the D, press Control Shift. And I'm just going to mirror skin weight there. So at the moment, if I move the knee now and I move it, you see how it got rid of that stuff in here? And that's because I've been mirroring this guy to the other side and then it essentially copy whatever, copy all the way here to this side and then pretty much got rid of that issue. Still a little bit of an issue there. As you can see here, you see it's a little bit of an issue there. Moving on this side. Have a look at these points here. As you can see how it moves. Go that. So if I click on the mesh and then go back into the skin weight, and I can see that there's a little bit here. That. So what you can do is, if you're gonna get rid of these guys, I think. I guess this guy is the left here. You see this? This guy shouldn't have anything here. It's a little bit of a problem there. And we have this guy there, which is fine. But that's because of the smoothing that we did earlier. You see how it's smooth sometimes it doesn't want to work. So what I can do is probably go into the knee. You see the knee mess up this one as well a little bit. Always it always happens. So what I do is I'm going to go into left here and then I'm just gonna paint at a little bit here. Kinda have the same amount there. little bit of a problem there, that's because of the other one to the other side. <laughs> so 
so what I can do is normally if I keep cleaning I'm just gonna put this back to this side so what I do is I'm going to hide there's many ways to do this guys it's just one one that I normally use I'm just gonna hide the joints and I'm just gonna select all these objects let's go to the objects select everything here on this side and I just what I normally do is I'm gonna go into the um go again and then what I normally do is I go into the again to the windows and I say um the component editor and then here what I normally do I just go into everything because I'm selecting everything from the left. Whatever appears here with right I just delete this. So I click here drag down all the way down here and I just say zero and that disappears so whatever it says right click all the way down here and it says uh, zero that disappears so there's another right here I just make sure it's zero so it's fine left 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 you see they're all left and hip in the middle that's fine and what I did essentially, I got rid of any influence from the right hand side on the left hand side. So now if I say show all again, and if I mirror this, now I'm essentially mirroring this side. Now if I bend this, you see now the issue is gone. You remember that bending thing that we have here? It's because now I clear everything out, and because now it's clean with nothing, it's essentially saying whatever's on this side, put it on this side, but because it was an error, then essentially whatever was on the right it was putting it back in the left so that's another tip that you can find there guys you can just you know be more productive stop ch chasing your tail there when you come to those things so that's that now if I go here the leg that's fine you see I got no influence at all here so I'm probably might need to get rid of this a little bit now in the middle it's a bit tricky sometimes so you go here um, because of the mirror and thing so if you go go into the paint weight here and now I got um, if you go the left knee hips that's fine now the hips way is the one that is going to move so this guy here for example if I click here middle click and drag so this guy is the one that's going to move so because this is the hips way if you want to get rid of this this is the guy that you should add it to okay so you got the hip it's pulling this too much do you want that to keep a little bit static then what you do is you add it to the one in the middle in this case the hips way so I'm just gonna go here add 10 percent and I just start adding you see when I start adding because it hasn't been moved it sort of stay there just remember that this guy is there is a limit of what you can do with the weights because um, the weights obviously doesn't know about the physiology or character because if you bend there there should be some stretching some you know volume you lose some volume here so that's something that normally in animation you fix it with either my muscle system or you just create something called um, blend shapes that you just pretty much go and pose a character on this and then pull this in and then kicks in one the angle of this um, uh, joint past a certain threshold so you we can we can do that uh, in, um, in the rigging show you how it works but that's just um, something there for you to think about so just don't don't think that you're gonna get the perfect um rig and perfect skin so it's not most likely it's not gonna happen so I'm just gonna delete this here so it stay there and I'm just gonna keep this in the middle there so it sort of stay there so I'm just adding that influence to this side and essentially I'm getting rid of that as well from the hips so so I can probably go here and press shift and then smooth this out a little bit so you can smooth that out a little bit there okay so and again, take this guy, make sure you put it back in the pose, select this guy, and then mirror. Now, if I select this and go back in this, now I should have, now this guy is pretty much a copy of this, you see? Left hip, right hip. Now the hip sway normally doesn't work because it is right in the middle. So normally, what you should do, let me see if I can fix that. Hip sway. Select this guy. And then you go here back into mirror weight. And then the hips. Uh, press one, press this to negative. That's fine. Press this point on surface. And then let's go to 
click on artifacts. Let's put this back to reset. Let's pull it back and we'll say no. And let's say no yes. Whoops. Let's try something like this. Well, we can see that later on, guys. Don't worry about it. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to find out exactly what's the issue with this. Um, oops, sorry, there's one mirror in the middle, and then I'm going to come back to you. So, I'm going to pause this and then come back with a solution. And then um, I'll show you what I did. And then we're going to go into the last part as well, which is um, I'm going to paint everything. I don't want to see you painting this for a few hours. So, I'm going to paint, paint everything and then come back and then show show you what um, sort of like uh, walk through what I've done. And then will be another extra uh, lecture showing you how to uh, recover your skin weight just in case you get, I don't know, you, you lose, um, get corrupted, you, your, your skin weight, or you just by mistake um, press uh, delete um, history and then you lose your skin weight. So thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye.